Hi everyone, I'm Juliet from Spoilt Rotten Beads and I've got a lovely beginners project to share with you all today. It is the Dragonfly Daisy project that you'll find over on our website. It makes this beautiful gold bracelet here which I think looks very much like fine jewellery. Um, it's a super project if you're a beginner because it's nice and easy and you don't need lots of expensive equipment. It looks very very pretty on, it's a lovely sort of textured chain that you make yourself and it's finished with a cute little um, charm and a little um, Swarovski crystal um, dangle as well, um, which I think are really, really pretty. I am going to pop a link through to the website with everything that you need on it. Before I go any further, I will just say, please subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out next time we do an upload. And um, fire away with your questions below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've got any questions um, or if there's any videos that you'd like us to do. And we will do our very best to oblige. Okay. I love these dragonfly daisy bracelets. I think they look like fine jewellery and they're such a great project for a beginner because because they're super easy to do and you don't need lots of equipment but you get this fantastic finish that looks like a piece of fine jewellery. Um, they're lovely to wear but they're also of course great for gifting too so if you've not made jewellery before then I think this is a great project to start off with. You're just going to need a few simple pieces of equipment. You'll need two pairs of chain nose pliers. These are chain nose pliers here, we sell them at Spoilt Russian Beads and you'll find that they have a completely smooth edge inside them so they're not like a regular sort of DIY plier, they're completely smooth inside and that means that they won't damage your jump rings as you're opening and closing them and you need two pairs of chain nose pliers in order to open and close jump rings effectively. You'll also need some jump rings and um, I have used six millimeter gold plated open jump rings. You'll need some four millimeter daisy spacers um, and these are just so pretty. They're really, really effective as a spacer bead, either side of, of a slightly larger bead, like a four or a six millimeter pearl or, or, or gemstone. And they provide a very, very pretty, delicate finish. But um, I've used them in a completely different way here to add texture to this, um, this linked chain that we're going to create in a moment. And then you'll need a little charm, like um, I've got this pretty little bee here to finish off your piece with. You'll need um, maybe a Swarovski crystal um, Chanel charm, which um, I'm going to be using. And you'll also need um, a lobster clasp because that's how you're going to fasten your piece. Okay, so um, making these bracelets is super easy and simple. All you need to do is to take your jump rings and your chain nose pliers and hold one pair um, of pliers in each hand. You just want to pick up your jump rings with your chain nose pliers and just take a look at the jump ring and see where the opening is. And I can see the opening is right here on the top. And you want to use your pliers to hold the jump ring either side of the opening and twist it open to the side like that. So I've twisted it open. Um, and it's that twisting motion that's really important with opening and closing jump rings. I'm just going to show you how to not to open and close a jump ring, just so that you can see how not to do it. Um, so what you don't do is hold either side of the um, opening and then pull the ring apart like that. Because when you pull the ring apart, like I've just done there, you'll distort that round shape and you can see that that ring is no longer round and it will never be able to be closed up again. Whereas the one that I twisted open is still round in shape and will close up really easily just by twisting one side back towards the other. So you open and close jump rings just by twisting them open like so, never pull them apart. So once you've opened a jump ring, you just want to thread onto that jump ring three of those little barley daisy spacers there, like that, and they'll just sit on the ring really neatly. And then use your chain nose pliers once more just to close up that ring again. And it's closed up. And that's the first link on my bracelet. And then you just want to continue building those links like that. So you will open a jump ring slip on three of the daisy spacers. Oops, there, nearly. 
this is the kind of job you can do sort of while you're watching the telly as well or after a while um pop that um open jump ring onto the the one that you um did before and once more close up and you will see you're starting to build that chain and you just want to continue like that and you can make these as long as you want them to be so if you want to you can just really go for it and maybe make yourself a matching necklace or just make some little tiny chains that you can uh, maybe use to attach to an ear wire to, to make a pretty little ear wire which would be really cute so I'm just threading on my daisy spacers linking on to the chain the the ring in the in the chain that I just added and you just keep on going like that and as you keep on going it will grow and you'll end up with a lovely textured chain that's super duper sparkly um, that flows really nicely and is very easy to wear but it's really quite unusual as well um, and to finish off all you need to do is on one of those jump rings just add on your lobster clasp on one end and then on the other end of the bracelet you just add on maybe a little charm like this cute bee and maybe a little Chanel charm as well and I've got those on separate jump rings there um, just on the end of my piece because it just allows them to move a little bit more um, and then of course to fasten the bracelet you can just use that jump rip that um that lobster class to go through one of those jump rings and if you want to make the bracelet maybe you want to make it make it extendable so that it um, will fit um, maybe a few different wrist sizes then you can just add a few more links um, onto the end of your piece that hasn't got the the lobster clasp on just to create your own little extender chain. Um, so there you have it, a really quick and easy project there for you all. Um, a lovely sparkly bracelet um, using just a three, uh, three sort of basic ingredients there and some pliers. Um, very simple and easy and fun to do. So thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe to our channel before you go um, and uh, have a little look around because we've got hundreds and hundreds of jewellery making tutorials on the Spore at Rotten Beads website. Um, lots of inspiration for you. So if you're new to the hobby, um, enjoy. Thanks very much. Bye bye.